One aspect of being an employer has really, really surprised me, and that is how much my employees, specifically those belonging to the Gen Z generations, care about mental health. You know, when I entered the workforce, it was not a thing. The employer told you, you take care of this, you know, you get your paycheck, don't talk to, about, uh, to us about mental health. This is no longer true today. Your employees, or at least mine, care a lot about their mental health. Sometimes it matters more to them than monetary compensation. It just really matters to them and it belongs to the conversation at the workplace. But don't take it from me. Let's go and talk to some of my Gen Zers. Okay, here is Ansley. Hello. So how long have you worked with Shanks, Ansley? Um, almost a year now. Okay, and you are at the cusp of being a Gen Z, right? Yes, yeah, 95. Okay, so I told my audience that one thing that really surprised me as an employer was how much the young generations care about mental health. And I'm like, if, is that the case for you? Yeah, yeah, I think mental health is really important and um, it's important to be talked about like everyone should have a good day or really mean it when they say, yeah, I'm doing great. How are you? Like you want to know how people feel, right? Yes. And do you feel that the employer cares part of a responsibility to take care of your mental health as a team member? Yeah, I'd say so, because I mean, with work, that's a lot of your life, right? Especially if you work 40 hours, and if you like where you work, or if your employer knows that you're having like a bad day or something, they're going to care, I think. Well, that's a good point that you bring up. You say they're going to care, I think. Does it surprise you? when I say that when I entered the workforce and I would have brought that up to my employer I would probably have gotten a response along the lines of well deal with it it's not our problem you get your monthly paycheck and that's about all we care about does that surprise you no no, no? that does not surprise me okay do you think that is still acceptable in today's day and age I think it's more common it's still more common mm -hmm. that people will be like that i used to be in jobs that were kind of like that mm -hmm. so yeah but for you it's definitely a differentiator to be at a uh, workplace where we do care about that here yes yeah mm -hmm. anything else you want to say not really i don't know mental health is important all right that's the main thing Okay, well, let's see if we can talk to a true Gen Z here in the company, Kira, if she even wants to be on camera, which I don't know if that's the case, but we'll find out. Actually, before we talk to Kira, we'll talk to our chief operating officer, Andrea. She's not a Gen Z, but she has to do <laughs> a lot. She has to deal a lot with our Gen Zers on the team. All right, say hello, Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Okay, very funny. <laughs> the topic of the day here yes, is that I had to talk about something that was surprising to me as an employer. And I said that I was very surprised that as your team grows, the Gen Zers and also those on the cusp, cusp of being millennials truly care about mental health. Yeah. And that it's not really an option anymore you know as an employer you you care and they think that you have part responsibility in that do you see the same as a team leader here in this company absolutely so one of the reasons is because this generation is more connected than any other previous generation so where there used to be this break between home life and work life there's not that anymore we had a little bit of a taste of it being in like the millennials that we are, but even the generations after Gen Z, for example, they don't remember a life without Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is. Uh, apparently Facebook is old for mm -hmm. old people now, but it was 2004 when I got a taste of Facebook and, and our, our marketing assistant Ansley was five. 
Yeah, that's so, crazy. So that just lets you know that your mental health does take a toll when you're constantly interconnected. We've seen the good of social media, but I think also constant pressures to be perfect or to have you know this seemingly wonderful life. It's just not realistic, but to constantly have to put on. I think a lot of the, the issues right now revolve around that. And so there are just a plethora of mental health issues that we didn't necessarily have to work through or weren't forced to confront because it wasn't ever pervasive as a part of our life. You could literally disconnect, go to work or go to school, come home, and you have no idea what happened for them during the day. And that's just not the case anymore. Okay, well, thank you for your input, Andrea. And by the way, just to make this clear, Andrea is also my partner in life. Otherwise, I would never get this close <laughs> to an employee. So. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, I'd be in big trouble for this. But all right, let's see if we can talk to the Gen Zer Kira. Let's see if she will agree to this. Okay, so I am now with Kira. Let's see, get her in there. Okay, it's stubborn. There we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting close to Kira because the camera wants to focus on me. But Kira, um, you are a true Gen Zer, right? Yes. Do you want to reveal when you were born? I was born in uh, 1999, July 16th. Okay, so you know the topic, the mm -hmm. importance of mental health mm -hmm. at the workplace. What are your thoughts? Um, I think that mental health is absolutely important to prioritize in your life. Um, if you don't have a sound mind, you're not going to produce good content, you're not going to do good work. And so I think prioritizing their mental health is super important. Okay. Do you think that employers have a role to play in that? Uh, yes. Such as, you know, what you're doing with helping provide access to mental health care and, you know, really prioritizing that really helps us as employees. Yeah, I think that's really the main role is helping employees get access to mental health care. Okay. So when I entered the workforce, the employer's mindset was, well, that is none of our business. You know, mm -hmm. you deal with your own mental health and show up for work. Uh, does that surprise you? Um, no, because I'm very familiar with stories like that through my parents and them becoming accustomed to the topic of mental health as well okay. and that being involved in the workplace. Okay. So it is something you know from your parents, mm -hmm. but you yourself could not imagine that mm -hmm. uh, being a contemporary thing. No, <laughs> mm -hmm. I've grown up with prioritizing it, so. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kira, for of sharing course. that with us. And this, wow, that would have been a better angle, right? <laughs> okay, well, that's it. There you go. Let me know if you face the same situation in your company i think it's a good evolution but definitely something that company owners have to get used to if they are not a gen z <laughs> see you tomorrow